the Spenders Unbuttoned podcast. I'm Sarah. And I'm Julie. Join us for unbuttoned and unedited conversations. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Suspenders Unbuttoned Podcast. My name is Sarah. And I'm Julie, and we're excited to have Andrew Walker with us today. Welcome, Andrew. Hi, guys. How's it going? Thanks so much for having me again. Again. Always. (laughs) We We always love when you come back. Yes, you were one of our first interviews ever. Um, and here you are. You've come back a fourth time. So I don't know. We're like 110 in or something now. So. And you guys are still getting in touch with the little people. You're still allowing me to come, <laughs> come and uh, grace you guys. Or you, you're gracing me with your presence. Thank you. <laughs> well, we always love chatting with you. Um, hey, congratulations on the success of Christmas Island. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, uh, I always think my, my last movie is my last movie. So whenever people, you know, whenever po- people... Uh-oh. We Uh-oh. Can't... We lost Andrew. Oh. He's oh. There we go. I said I always I always feel like my last movie. How am I back? Yeah, you're back. Yeah, I always feel like my last movie was my last movie. So I, I I'm I'm always surprised when people tune in and watch. So it was a it was a really pleasant surprise. I knew that Christmas Island had the elements to, to be a, a a great movie considering the cast, the supporting cast, a lot of people know some of the faces and they're familiar with, you know, I had worked with um, Kate Drummond and Jefferson Brown on a uh, movie Mm. a few years ago. Um, And Peter McNeil as well, which was such a treat to, to be paired up with him again. But uh, yeah, you know, you never know, you never know with these things. There's so many, so many factors, right? So it's interesting interesting that you think that way. Cause I just think, I, I don't think that way about about you as an actor at all. So it's a it's a very different perspective to hear you think that could be my last movie. So it's like, <laughs> I just think with your next you know, movie, I just, I'm always like, yeah. what's the next? <laughs> well, you know, I'm always uh, yeah. Look, I've been doing this for thirty plus years now. You know, and and you know, acting in general, and and it's it's such a it's such a finicky and delicate kind of you never know you know you never know when people will just say you know what there's a new you know new 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 young hot guy and whatever you know new new person new from new face that they're that they want to see and and i've done i've done 28 28 or so of these movies now so i just uh you know i i feel like life is just so incredibly good and i'm so incredibly blessed um, that, you know, you got to have that piece of reality that, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm not, I never want to feel like I'm, I'm untouchable in any way, you know? Mm-hmm. And so I also, it drives me to, to, to want to put out better work constantly, you know, and go deeper in my work. So I never want to be complacent. I love that. You got to stay grounded in whatever you're doing. Um, Andrew, tell us, you mentioned earlier that you had a feeling that this, you know, this movie had the pieces that could make it a great movie. What were those pieces that you, you know, when you read the script, you said, okay, this could be really good. Yeah, well, first off, you know, great script. Samantha Herman is a, is a fantastic writer. And, um, you know, I thought that the comedic, um, the comedic beats were there. And I, you know, I, I love the fact that it was shot in Canada for Canada. We've never done that. Hallmark has never done that before. We always shoot in, you know, parts of, of British Columbia or Vancouver and make it Denver or, right. you know, Utah right. or whatever. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. We had these landmarks in the movie, Peggy's Cove, which is this very famous lighthouse out there. And um, and the, the colored houses, you know, it's very Maritimes-esque, you know, where you get these like the greenhouse and the, the red house. And actually, I didn't know this, but it was it's the it's the government that uh, decides what color you can paint your house. You can't just go and paint your house green. They want to make sure that it's all it staggers in in, in variation. Um, so and there was another location that we shot at, which was uh, called Lunenburg. And Lunenburg is where uh, our fastest sailboat that had ever raced 
that it was the fastest sailboat in the world for multiple decades called uh, the blue, the blue nose and it's on our dime. And so uh, in one of the scenes in Christmas Island, when I'm on the docks loading the lobster traps with Jefferson's character, the blue nose actually takes off behind us in the, in, in, you know, in, in the distance. And so, you know, there was this very unique uh, picturesque mm. moments in that movie that, uh, that I, I thought, people would probably love. And we had all these locals, which was incredible. It was the same deal when I worked in South Africa on Safari Romance, yeah. working with some of the locals there. And just to, when you work with local actors, it's just so much fun. You know, it's, they're, not, they're, they're not phony. It's not like they're playing a character. These guys were real lobster fishermen and real mm. down home, salt of the earth, maritime people, you know, that were, that were, that were playing these, these background roles. So or being back in, in the background as well as supporting roles. I, so, I love that. I think it, it, brings, great. Yeah, it brings more depth to, yeah. to the picture when you have like kind of that reality, you're not making it up or making what you think it should be. <laughs> um, they just bring that, how they look and their realness with them. We talked with uh, Leif Bristow out shooting in South Africa and that was one, it's one of his favorite things. He's like, I got to use a lot of the same people he used previously. So I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Leif is, yeah, Leaf is amazing. I mean, people want to keep coming back and working for Leaf and Agnes mm. as well because they're just incredible people. And so I could see why he continues to work with the same people. It was, it was such a fun experience. But I, I also like the takeaway why I said that was I really felt, you know, just five hours into working with Rachel Scarston, it was yeah. just immediate fireworks. You know, mm. we were just and she was such a such a champion. She was she had a five month old. Wow. So mm -hmm. she was, you know, she was pumping between scenes and just coming back, just jumping right back into into the scene and and keeping such a great, you know, having such a great energy on set and and um, just a positive mindset. And uh, and also she was she 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 was she was ragging on me the whole time. It was so <laughs> funny. She would just like Perfect. try to catch me in moments. And it, it was great. It was, I was like, okay, this is what I'm in for. This is fantastic. She's, she and I are going to just have so much fun every day. We got to work. We were laughing our way through every single day. <laughs> so it, it, she was such a fun person to work with and, uh, and great chemistry. Yeah. Really great that. chemistry. You guys were great together. We loved the banter, lots of banter yeah. and tension. Love the banter. <laughs> The the sassy <laughs> start. I'm like I'm in. I'm all in. We love a good back and forth. So as soon as the movie started, I'm yeah, like, that just never stopped. The cameras when the cameras were off, we were it was the same. It was the same thing. We just kept on going going at it. That's yeah, and, I, and the um the behind the scenes videos that you made, and you know the music video, and all. I mean, you can tell you all had a, a blast working together. The, yeah, the cast. Yeah. You, you, we, you know, it's one of those moments. We wish it was a series. Yeah, for sure. That actually, that could be a series. Mm. Like based out of the airport <laughs> and stuff, people could come and go. Let's My get this going. <laughs> <laughs> Although, like your cast is great. Um, a lot yeah. of people. Uh, you've worked with Jefferson Brown in the past, but a lot of people really might recognize him now as uh part of the cast of The Way Home yeah. too on the Hallmark Channel. Um. Right, he's yeah. seeing him there, so it was like, "Hey, Jefferson Brown's on that one," so which was fun to see him. Yeah. Uh, which we had known him previously from "When Hope Calls," a spinoff from "When Calls the Heart," too. So that's right. Right. So right, yeah, forgot. great, great guy, good, great actor. We played golf. Uh, he's an amazing golfer. Oh. Uh, so it was, it was fun to just have you know have him there and. And we had talked about playing golf last time we worked together, but um, but it was nice to 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 get out with him on the weekend and enjoy enjoy Halifax, the other side of Halifax. Hmm. Fine. The other side. <laughs> Not on the ocean. <laughs> the other yeah, thing no, I no, love. We were... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no I was no, changing ahead, the subject. So finish what you were saying. No, no, please, no. I, I was just rambling. It, 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 I was just Perfect. saying I was we nice love to, a good ramble. to be on the golf course. We were. We were on the coast the whole time, so it was just nice to nice to be on the golf course for a mm. day. And yeah, see a different side of, of Halifax. Right. News, yeah. Okay. Well, all I was going to say is that we love a good. Uh, we love that the snow the snowstorm trope 
kind of got a twist, right, with the airplane and um, flying and, and such like that. So tell us about working around, you know, the airplane and the traffic control station and all that. Yeah, I I never I didn't know that we were going to. We had that. We had obviously, you know, everything's got to be got to be within the budget, and and for us to have access to a private jet like that and mm -hmm. multiple in the hangar as well which is that's where the the new the um uh, backstreet boys idea came in because <laughs> when we sh when they showed up when rachel showed up on set we had we had talked about it about doing something fun throughout the entire shoot and we were trying we were, you know racking our brains and trying to like you know figure things out on the day on on like some days we would just take some some we, we would do some funny little skits you know, yeah. between takes and go, okay, well, we'll piece something like this. We'll piece something together. Uh -huh. But the last day we had nothing. And I was coming in late that last day and Rachel, Kate, Jefferson, the, the whole cast had come in earlier and they texted me and they said, we know what we're doing. We're going to recreate the Backstreet Boys song when they were in the airplane hangar. Yeah. And because we're in an airplane hangar today. So I, right. I thought it was, I thought it was brilliant. Um, and so, yeah, that day we had, we had one day to get a, a lot of scenes done, but, uh, but look, we shot, we shot the music video and got our, all of our scenes done. So we kind of, nothing, like, two nothing birds. like coming down to the wire to make people like, let's go, let's get it together. <laughs> yeah. And, and the producers, they, you know, I, I, they were a little nervous seeing how dedicated we were to our video. So between scenes, I'd be like, all right, guys, guys, we have five minute warning, five minute warning to wrap your video. And then we need you on our actual movie that we're going to lose this hanger for. So you got to wrap up your video. You know, so yeah, it, was, it reminds me of what I do to my kids when I'm like, okay, guys, 10 minutes before we leave the house. Okay, guys, six minutes before we leave the house. Okay, guys, four minutes before. <laughs> and, and, the, and kids, actors, it's. <laughs> yeah, 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 this, this, I'll, I'll take kids over actors any day. <laughs> it's like herding kittens, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but you want to know the fans love that stuff. Um, you guys, uh, that was a great video. That it looked like you worked on that for days and days and days. So, um, yeah. it's it turned out great. And last year with uh, three wise men and a baby, you guys also had a super fun video. Um, you kind yeah. of set the bar really high coming in with this one this time. Now, like you. That's that's a high bar. Like, where are you going next? I know. <laughs> you know, that's that's what the you know what was so disappointing with the strike, outside of the many other reasons. But you know that we couldn't do our 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 own advertising and marketing for the movies that we love right. to do because Hallmark yeah. Hallmark is so built off of the grassroots, especially. And right. I think fans love these these little those these you know behind the scene funny skits that we do to to also show. Mm -hmm the you know our camaraderie our cast camaraderie and um just give a little you know a, a little different spin on on the 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 typical marketing you know on mm -hmm. like just a, a movie poster you know or just a yeah just a shot you know these these behind the scenes pictures you know right. so this is Absolutely. i think i think people really love to really it was perfect you know case in point was with with three wise men yeah. You know, people really loved that that elf uh, skit that we did, and I my hat my hat goes off always to Tyler because he's <laughs> he's great at that, and he's also a really talented filmmaker. Like he could yeah. actually shoot one of these movies for real from front to you know from front to back. And so, um, yeah, so I, I love that Rachel was was down to do this, and my hat goes off to her and Kate Drummond. Really, were the ones that had this Backstreet Boys idea. So. Um, yeah, and, and they, I wasn't like, there for most of the day, so that's why they came. That's why they spliced me in separately. Well, it was perfect because like, I wasn't in that maybe, opening scene. Right, everybody was wrapped by the time I got to set. But they they did it perfect, you know, shooting you, shoot, shooting in, shooting you. It was yeah. it that was Rachel. That yeah, was Rachel. She, yeah, she she understood the assignment. You know, it's all the <laughs> fun. I think the fans really connect. Uh, they like seeing kind of what's happening and like a little peek into what the world is like, but it also makes them excited to see the movie then too. It's like, it generates a lot of discussion, whether you see it under the post or there's, let me just tell you, there's a lot of private chats out there in the world talking about these movies. And so it'll be a lot of, your, our phone is buzzing. Right. It's like, new, 
new reel up great you know so um they'll be dropping into all those chats so sometimes you maybe don't even see like how that foundation is is spreading when you put those out so we love it They're, they love it and then we get to we get a little sneak peek into what you guys are doing and how that's gonna look and get to see the fun besides so yeah well Get ready for more because we love we love doing it as well. It's a, it's a fun way for us to, to you know acting is 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 hurry up and wait. You get to set like okay yeah let's go let's go let's go and you get to set and then you're just sitting around you're waiting for about 30, 30 minutes before you start shooting anything. So this is a great way for us to spend our time keep our keep ourselves out of trouble and uh, and give the fans something fun to look at. Yeah, I think um, something that's what we've learned doing this podcast is just how how interested the fans are in about everything about the movie and not just watching it. Like they want to know about the actors. They want to know um, about the directors. People love when we get to talk with directors and producers because learning all what it takes to make these movies that we love to watch so much is is interesting. And I think it makes it more magical. It doesn't take away from the magic. It actually adds to the magic. Right. Um, and, you know, and then you throw in a candy cane and that. then the whole fandom goes <laughs> crazy. Uh, <laughs> the candy cane comes and everybody's like, oh, my gosh, the candy cane. <laughs> it's really fun you know, to I, see you all that was, adding That to happened in the moment. Like yeah. Well, but so many people get it. Like, it's fun to see. Like, it blew up on, you know, Twitter when it was happening and people dropping stuff everywhere. It's been made into a GIF at least three different times. Right? <laughs> or a gif or however you want to say that's, it uh that's the beauty of of the hallmark fandom though yeah. you know Absolutely. only only the hallmark community would really get this and and that's you know uh, you don't get this in 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 netflix or you know paramount plus and these right. other these other networks you know is they do great great projects but there's something about the the Hallmark brand, and especially the Countdown to Christmas right. yeah. brand that they've created. It really is the most anticipated time of year for so many people, you know, for right. millions of people. And that's the reason why they're number one in cable, you know. And so I think that, like, for us to do something special for the fans like that and, um, and continue to kind of set the bar and not that even, you know, it's even a bar, but it's just fun to connect and we started doing those these these little cameos in, in, in yes. movies you know they're super thought. fun we never knew that people would appreciate them the way that they do and now it's like who's where, where, what's the next cameo what's the yeah. next cameo so yeah and who do you uh, want to be in a cameo next like you always right. want somebody else to like yeah come come cameo or something you know um i always i always think like um uh all of elizabeth's exes the next time aaron does a movie it should be like you and Marcus Rossner and like anybody. Oh, you mean all the wind calls the heart. The heart yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for Aaron Craig. Right. Like the next time Aaron does a movie, it's like that's who needs to be her. It needs to be like you <laughs> and Marcus <laughs> Rossner. <laughs> Just kind of like come in and yeah, bomb yeah. in there between so her and yeah. Tyler are making a movie. You need to bomb between them. Um, it would be, be it needs to be start being that kind of stuff. But no, like the candy cane is great. It's fun. It's a great Christmas piece. So if you don't get it it doesn't matter because it's you right. know cer certainly yeah. mr. Chris mr christmas was for sure gonna have a candy cane right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly exactly oliver's mr. If nobody else got it tyler would have a good laugh so right yeah, right no, like, look, everybody got it Tyler's. like it was all over twitter there was no not getting that yeah. um, <laughs> Did you? Uh, were there any other easter eggs that we can go back when we rewatch the movie and look for no, that was pretty much the yeah. the, the only one. Um, that was, that was... Trying to think if there was anything else. No, not really. No. So you you shot a lot of great scenes in this movie. Did you have a favorite scene to shoot? Yeah, you know that that the the scene where I had the candy cane, where I had all the 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 garland around my neck and whatnot. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. The the homes that we we're shooting in the two homes that we were shooting in, uh, in Peggy's Cove. Yeah. They were so small and we mm -hmm. packed 30 crew members right. in that house. And, um, and so, and I think I, po I posted something on, on Instagram where, where Rachel, I, I shot her and she's like, 
everywhere you go, I'm in the house because like, the <laughs> house was so small and I was like turning my camera around, but Rachel was still in, in the lens. <laughs> Um, but that was a really fun scene to shoot because it was, you know, it, it's the, it's, it's the intro of this guy's, you know, this Mr. Christmas and how obsessed he is. And, and he's kind of been caught red handed a little bit, like, but you know what, this is who I am and this is what I love. And this is, you know, just didn't, you know, it's, it's just, it's just, where's his, where's his, uh, Christmas love on his sleeve. And that's, that's it. So I, I thought that was a really fun scene to shoot with with Rachel and um it was our first day working together actually. Oh fun. And at the end of at the end of the scene she's like you are the weirdest guy that I have ever <laughs> had to work across from and I love it. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this is you know perfect. This is great. This is this is who I am. And it, it was it was perfect for me because I was like I want to fall into this weirdo guy you know, kind of so, choose or groove. We have seen you in person. So, I, I would say no you're, part. you have a great energy about you. You have a positive energy about you and it really draws people in. And I can see how that would come off on set easily. So that's, that has to make work day a lot more fun. Thanks, Julie. Thank you. You know, yeah, look, I might, might not be the best act, actor in the world, but I know that I, you know, I can, I, I love what I do. And I feel like if I can be one of the more adaptable actors and somebody who can really draw somebody in, um, I think that that's, uh, that's kind of, you know, when I was younger and you go through all of your, your insecurities of, of being a performer and like, where do you fit in this huge landscape of incredibly talented actors and people out there. And, um, you know, as I get older now and, <clears throat> and my confidence, and I think having kids was a big piece of that as well. But I start, start to realize what I bring to, you know, as a, as a, as a performer and to the table. And, and I think that is the ability to, to connect, you know, and I want to always, I always want to continue to, to, mm. to, to go deeper in that. You know, and I think, you know, all the extracurricular things that I do with meditation and yoga and things has really made me more comfortable in my skin. And um, not that I'm the most comfortable person in my skin, but I feel like I can, I'm, when I connect with somebody, I've, the, the comfort then begins to percolate, you know, and I can, and I think Rachel and I had that, you know, you have that very, you know, I never met her before in my life. And um, she's a very imposing person because she's beautiful and she's tall and she's confident. And, um, and so just, you know, breaking that, breaking the ice and just getting to know her a little bit and then her getting to know me. And then right away, we were just like two peas in a pod making fun of each other. And then like trying to catch each other doing strange things on set. And it was just so, it was so fun, you know? And so anyways, I, I just think that like connection is the, is one of the biggest things. And one of the, also, I think it's the, that's really the beauty of the movies that we do. It's all about connection. It's all yeah. about the, you know, the, the joy and the, the, this, you know, you're falling in love. It's a gradual story of two people falling in love and how, how that looks from one movie to another between different characters is, is always, is, is so different based on the person's makeup, you know, or right. their personality. Right. Yeah. So. Well, the yeah. acting piece, I'm going to say the throngs of Hallmark watchers are going to argue with you about not being the best oh, actor. Right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> just like, yeah. They are going to be well, like, look, I mean, oh, no. You are like. <laughs> I'm confident. I'm confident in my skills. I'm yeah. confident in my skills. But I, 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 look, there's Edward Norton and, uh, you know, Ryan Gosling and these these incredible actors out there. Look, they're, I'm, I'm always, I don't, I, 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 you can't think that you're the best, right? You, I'm, 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 I know what my strengths are and I try to play to my strengths. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I will say that during this movie, Sarah and I did text back and forth and she was like, oh my gosh, that was so good. Andrew. And like, so we were going back and forth and, uh, um, uh, we love the range in this movie because yeah. we also both love a good like 
spar off, you know. <laughs> so it started with that great sparring. Yeah. And um, well, and coming from you two, that's the best compliment I could receive. Thank you. Thank you. It was well, a lot. Of, it was a great movie. Uh, we enjoyed it, and I actually can't wait to rewatch it. Uh, haven't had time to watch all the movies <laughs> this year, but. This will definitely be even on my rewatch list. But let's shift gears. I think it's a, a great bit. year for Hallmark. It's been a yeah, it's so far. Yes. Like, I, I know that Lacey's movie did incredibly well. Mm -hmm. I don't know how yeah. Billmore did over the weekend, but I'm sure that movie did really well. I'm sure well. it did. Yeah, those numbers yeah, will be up you know. tomorrow. The, I'm sure it yeah. did great. Everyone I know is I'm sure it did it. great. Right. I think it's just they're just, just picking up uh, speed now. You know, it's... You know, all right. I know when I talk to Hallmark execs, they're like, we only have two... Three more, two or three more movies to lock right now, and they're they're just waiting. They're just waiting right. for right. Christmas to come to an end. They work yeah. so hard, you know. Samantha De Peppo and and the team that she has, um, Jennifer Craig, you know, the Christmas team. They work so tirelessly because it's also one of those things. It's become such a huge yes. endeavor, you know. It's it's really this is what people wait for all year long, and they're just trying to build off that. The momentum that they had last year, I think, was one of the bigger years and numbers that they had ever mm -hmm. received, and you know, with with viewership, with viewers for right. for Countdown to Christmas. So yeah, I really think Countdown to Christmas is becoming part of kind of pop culture, right? We're yes, just, it is. We're seeing it yeah. everywhere now. Yeah, uh, you know, families get together to watch, friends get together to watch. I have coworkers like seek me out to ask me what I what I thought or who's coming up or what should they watch even or um, girls weekends away. It's, you know, it's, it is, it's, yeah. in, it's woven into the, the fabric and you know, it is when things like the tonight show is also, you know, whether it's a skit or yeah, like, Saturday night live too, yeah. you know, they do their skits. Yeah. You yeah. know, you're woven into pop culture when you start making it uh, onto the satire, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, because yeah, everyone really. has to know the reference. It's an honor. It's funny, right? It's exactly. an honor. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. And last night I was part of this. I was fortunate enough to be part of this, uh, the Hollywood Christmas Parade. Oh, and right. I was there with Jonathan Bennett, um, myself, Aaron Cahill, Rachel Lee Cook, and um, uh, Vince, who's in uh, their Christmas. I'm blanking on his last name. Um, he's in there. He's in Aaron Cahill and Jonathan Bennett's new movie oh, coming okay. out. Vince. Okay. Anyways, Filipino guy. We'll yeah. Yes. Oh, he's in the book. In the Vincent um, Rodriguez. Yeah. Vincent yeah. Rodriguez. Yeah, 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 so yeah, we're, yeah. We're on. We're on the. We're on our uh, in this Rolls Royce, which was Sammy Davis Jr.'s car, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. No way. That's so, so we're in cool. Sammy Davis Jr. Jr.'s Rolls Royce. No and way. We're up on the back, and we're going down Hollywood Boulevard, and we're we're waving to everybody, and we have Hallmark Channel written on the side of the yeah. car, and it's it's moments like that that I realize the impact that Hallmark has on people because the crowd before we 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 roll up and before they see on the side of the car who we are, um, and then they notice who who's in the car. Um, they, it, it just they light up, you know. They, it's it's as if I, I, you Christmas know, is coming to them. You're yeah, literally it's like Santa Christmas. Claus is in, is in the car. Now I know how Santa Claus feels right? yeah. at Christmas time because people will just say, Oh, Mark, we love you. <laughs> the whole family will just yell out and the kids yell out and then we wave and they're like, Oh, it's the, it's, it's the Hallmark guy. It's the Hallmark guy. <laughs> you are the Hallmark guy. <laughs> the Hallmark guy. It's true. That's what I've I think that watching as a family is really becoming more of a thing too. I mean, even just, I switched to a new hair salon and it's a stylist I've known my whole life. And he's like, don't tell anybody that I'm talking Hallmark with you. <laughs> we watch it every night together, me and my wife. And I got to know, like, have you seen this one? Or what about this actor? Or what about that? You know, so yeah. I think, yeah, it's really the roots are really spreading and you must be a hot commodity there sarah you talk to all you're like the uh, you, they're you like have... well the first person they asked about was you yeah that's the <laughs> yeah, i'm just gonna say. One everybody knows <laughs> they it's don't you know and... your name but they're like you know the one guy and i'm like i think i know who oh no i like... get that do you know andrew or tyler <laughs> <laughs> and, and this has just... been so incredibly you know just amazing to for Tyler and I too we just yeah. we can't believe that I've known him for 20 years since I've known my wife and 
and how we spent so so much time together, so many Christmases together. Mm -hmm. And I really, I love, I lo always loved the guy. And I've always really, as as much older as I am than him, I'm pr I probably feel like his older brother, but I really look up to him, you know, in his, in, in how seriously he takes his craft and how, you know, an incredible actor he is and filmmaker and, and just performer artist. Mm. And so for us to be in this place now where we're actually working in the, on these movies together is just such a, a you know, we're just my mind, mind boggling, experience you know so it's really a uh, a dream case scenario for both of us you know be working in these movies and for him to have the popularity that he has and for people to enjoy my movies as much as they do as well for us to work together now in them is just just it's ridiculous i mean i think the fans <laughs> love it though like they have just been eating it up like oh gosh yeah these these yeah. events uh Everyone loves the events or uh, like that you got to do the Hollywood parade um, or uh, any of the Hallmark specialty events. Like everybody loves seeing those pieces mm -hmm. kind of come together and then to bring those people into a film together. I mean, I don't know, the two of you guys in the film, I think, you know, Three Wise Men and Baby with, with Paul too. Like it was, that was like, did you have any <laughs> idea when you were going into it, how that was going to blow up? I had no idea. No, like I said, my, my, I always feel like my last movie was my last movie. And all right. three of us, when we were working on that movie, we said, okay, well, look, guys, everyone's going to figure us out now. You know, this is the <laughs> point where we, you know, Hallmark has done us this, this favor of, you know, doing this movie because we wanted to have a lot of, you know, just have fun with each other. And seeing the numbers when they came out, we were just, yeah, we never imagined that, that they'd be what they mm. were. You know, and when the numbers first came out, that was one thing, but the numbers kept rolling, like on replays. Yeah. For the the replay numbers are actually just, more, almost just as good. crazy. Like I know, I know. You know, I, I I had said to some to some Hallmark people, some execs, I said, look, it would, it, it's it's not it's not a bad idea to potentially maybe look at doing a theatrical release for two of their big movies. You know, right. like every Christmas because Christmas. Because Countdown to Christmas being what it is and what it's becoming yeah. in pop culture, if you do a Countdown to Christmas two movie feature, you know, over the course of December where you do two movies and maybe pull back on the Hallmark Hall of Fames, I don't know. I just, you know, I was like, that might be an interesting, an interesting idea, you know, where they put some more money behind. I think people would, would go out and see Hall at the Holly. I would, I would see Hall at the Holly yeah. in theaters. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I go see I Three Wise Men. Yeah. Uh, three Wise Men, Hall of the Holly. That Biltmore movie last night, too. Had Biltmore that movie. Yeah. yeah. Certainly yeah. had those. And things. I yeah. think, too, the comedies coming in, like, checking it twice, like, that was funny. I think people right. really love, we're getting different kinds of movies now. And right. Yeah. The variety yeah. is fun. Or the variety even, is so great. Yeah. Right. Or even Lisa just. Lisa Hamilton the Daly. Coming, so, she's yeah. the brains behind that operation. She's mm -hmm. the one that decided i mean she's the one that uh that brought um the series uh um, the way home the way, the way home. home she's the one that brought the way home yeah. from netflix yeah that jefferson and look at that Thompson. success yeah but she's the one that really allows us it's it's a lot longer of a i don't even want to say it's a leash because it's not even really like you know no, she's not right. even just there's no puppet puppeteering anymore really you know it's just it's just her letting us do what we do, and 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 now, yeah, the we're, the the parameters are so much broader than what they've ever been for us. And I think also identifying the movies on the ch channel versus the movies and mysteries now too. And it goes back to the to the to the mystery to the, to, to the mystery movies as well. Like the you know, Curious Caterer is not a cozy mystery. It's a it's a dramatic. It's a dramatic and, uh, series now, you know, right, or, or, right, or right. mystery wheel. Yeah, so and, we, and people are like, where's more curious cater? Because, like, they, they love it. They love that. It's a mystery. Like, they want it to be a mystery. They don't want it to be cozy. Like, yeah. I mean, they love it. And, and of course, you and Nikki, it's a, it's always a favorite right. pairing, right? You're with Nikki Deloche and that. And that's always a, a favorite pairing of the fans. And so um, I think they love that there's that element and maybe things don't uh mush together so much and that there's some more differentiation between things I, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. I think that's that's so key in everything, right? You want you want a dichotomy of emotions and storytelling, and con you want contrast. You want to be able to make it back from the bad and get to the good, and vice versa. So, right. I think right. it's been a great thing that Hallmark has been doing. Yeah, we agree. I am. Um, I, I actually the movie, your Christmas Island movie. There's something as a in that movie that I loved seeing that we don't always see in these as a professional woman. That um, Kate's character got to be a professional woman from the beginning to the end. Sometimes they they used to like try to make them not be professional and become something different than Leave they were the job, say, the, in your right. home. Yeah. Right. And she got to remain that amazing, strong, professional woman. She, what she was missing was people to connect with in her life. And you told that story as opposed to trying to change her from being a pilot and this beautifully educated, strong woman. And so I appreciated that in this movie a lot. Yeah, I love how it wasn't, it was left a little open-ended. It wasn't mm -hmm. like, hey, moved to the small town. He was like, I'm going to leave everything. I agree with you. It was, it was great how she kind of left it up to me too. And I was right. like, I don't know how this is going to work. We don't know right. how this is going to work, right. but right. I'm going to, I'll come visit you a lot more. I'll try to fly. I'll try to fly. I'll try to fly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pull your Poor big boy Oliver. pants up and get on an airplane. Buddy. <laughs> Poor Oliver. He, you know, like to fly. Yeah. He's just going to be the air traffic controller in his little room. <laughs> That's it. I, I, I feel, I don't know, I, I might, there might be sequel, sequel. I feel uh, like you might have to like get over, get on the plane. Yeah. I, I, I can feel, I feel a sequel. I feel a sequel. Next mm -hmm. Christmas, right? Next Where Christmas. Gonna... We'll see. Yeah. The, you, uh, somehow there's, there's gotta be, Oliver's gotta get on a plane. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, Absolutely. He has to conquer his fear for love, right? That's right. oh, yeah. There, yeah. Flying for love. Flying for love. Yeah. Right. Flying yeah. for love. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I feel like the family is going to want to come back to Christmas Island next year, and so for Christmas because that's their Christmas tradition now. Yeah. Right. Because they didn't really have any Christmas tradition. That's right. So I feel like that there family's going to have to come back there, but somehow, some way, Oliver is going to have to get on a plane. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like just what, what you just said there, Julie, too, the, the the connection for people in this movie, like it was with My Christmas Family Tree, it's one of those mm. subject matters that it's very familiar, but people don't really realize it until they see it. And right. I think that, that that's what why My Christmas Family Tree was so popular when it came out. People were like, you know, I know, I know so many people that were trying to connect with their their parents or trying right. to connect or were, grew up in the foster foster right. care system um, or were adopted and and then found out they were adopted at an older older age and just didn't and was like well I still feel a connection with my parents so right. it doesn't matter if you're blood it's you're you're you know you family is family you know mm -hmm. if you if you if you can build a family um, through friendship as well like we have yes. a small you know group of friends here but with with uh, with Christmas Island, I feel like the connection is that it's also very familiar in this day and age that so many parents are disconnected without them even knowing. Mm -hmm. They're just, because of the cost of living and because it takes two parents to mm. pay for, and this was a different situation, they were a very wealthy family, right. so they, they, they could have made choices. But I think that it goes back to, you know, that reminder that, Look, we all have our responsibilities and it's as, as parents and um, depending on what city you live in, you know, L.A. being L.A., it's 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 a, it's at the forefront of my wife and my my mind constantly. We're like we could we live here, but we, we're also, you know, we need to be on the grind in a way, one way or another to try to pay for everything but we love living here right but it's the same thing with i think i think just it's a reminder to take those moments especially over the holidays right. it's also hopefully bosses and of you know of people can watch that movie and go you know what i gotta give my i gotta give some people some time off and not be so yeah. strict on right. on how much workload they need to take on over the over the holidays and I, I think it's just a reminder that we all need to just it's family that's the most important part of the holidays is giving back and family 
Yes. Yeah. I think um, connection is like the biggest keyword, I think, in the stories and then also in the community, like in the fan community, feeling connected to each other and feeling connected to, like we just said earlier, the actors and all these. It just it's like the driving force, I think. And it just I don't know. We, I love seeing it come to life in in different ways. Um, we just saw you uh, dancing on stage with, you know, Aaron Cahill and who else was there? Nikki. And, <laughs> Nikki, you know, Ashley. And you all get together and you're showing us, you know, how your connection together is to do something for the greater good and to raise money. And it, it's just wonderful to see, to see the, the connection piece kind of throughout this entire little world of, this Hallmark community. Um, I just think- it's You know, we joke, we joke about when we were in uh, Nashville, because it's like when you look at what Ben Ayers has done and how much money he's raised over the course of this past year with his Romance University yes. and yes. how many people he's brought together as well. And I think mm -hmm. that's like, that's also a piece to this is that the community of Hallmark fans are also helping each other out without us, without us even knowing it. The people that meet at these events Christmas con. There's people that meet at Christmas con in line and they will come up to my, my table the next year and say, Oh yeah, I carpooled with so-and-so this year. And we've been best friends since Christmas con, you know, 2019 Absolutely. or whatever, tw you know, 2021. Yeah. And, and so, you know, we, we joke, we said, you know, guys, we're kind of like the care bears, you know, we <laughs> all have like our own individual thing that we're doing that we care about. Right. And it's all leading with love, except for grumpy, grumpy Care Bear. We don't know who that person is yet. Um, <laughs> well, honestly. It might be Tyler. Maybe Tyler's grumpy. I was going to say, it's going to be like, Tyler. Like, yeah. kind of I was cool just going to say, he's, you know, he's, he's the right most the he's lovable. The, the thing, most lovable grumpy. The, yeah. the thing that Tyler does behind the scenes, yeah. that's the beauty of what makes him who he is. Yeah, we I'm standing. Him. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I met a girl, I met a woman at Christmas Con last year. She said, she said, oh, I just want to go say goodbye to Tyler. I said, oh, give him a hug for me. And she, uh, she starts telling me, she goes, did you know that he gave me his first class ticket? We got on the, oh, we got on an airplane together mm -hmm. in, in, in uh, Toronto, outside of Toronto. And I was passing him in line and my two daughters came in and said, oh my gosh, we're going to Christmas Con. And, um, he came back and he said, do you want to, do you want to take my ticket? Come sit in first class. And Tyler sat between the two daughters, oh the whole flight okay. to New York and the mom sat in first class. This is the type of guy that he is. And he this does this. not surprise no, me. No, doesn't surprise us at all. Yeah. I mean, we were at Rama Drama. We went there knowing we loved Tyler as an actor. We got to Rama Drama. I, we weren't there. We didn't see him an hour. And I looked at Sarah and said, I, I'm the biggest fan of, Tyler, the man, we, I, yeah. I watched a few things happen in front of us and Absolutely. I was like, geez, yeah. there, you can't explain the Tylerisms. It's, yep. Yeah. It surprises me zero amount. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, you know, I think every, every individual in this world, in this universe that we work in, Aaron, Nikki, Ashley, Ben, you know, they're, I think we've really, we're, we're really have the, we're realizing that we have the ability to spread our wings a little bit more now and, and and build our platform for the greater good not just for the the content we're putting out there but mm. really to you know to you know i can reach out to my my facebook fan page group and through debbie yep. and who's incredible yep. at doing what she does and say hey guys i got this this you know this this fundraiser i'm a part of that i really feel strongly about mm -hmm. And, you know, and I, you know, it could raise $10,000 in a matter yep. of a few weeks. It's really, yep. it's really incredible. It's an amazing, you know, we've, we've witnessed it. We yeah. were in that, that group too. And we've seen the things that have come out of this community. The support for those yeah. type of fundraisers is, is incredibly heartwarming. And um, people yeah. are like happy to donate and to, yeah. and to do whatever they possibly can, even if it's a dollar or whatever, they're just so happy. The hearts of the people in this community are just so big. Um, and then to see that the people that were watching on our screens, hearts are even bigger. It's really special. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We have so many nurses and teachers that, well, as you know, nurses and teachers that watch this network. And I would say their hearts are well, 
triple the size of yes. ours. But it, it's always doing a surprise it almost, day. like how lovely everybody is that we get to talk to and interact with. Um, so maybe let's just say we're equal. We're equal, <laughs> equal hearts. <laughs> and, <Right. laughs> I think it makes it fun to be connected within yeah. the community and to watch. Uh, you talked about Ben Ayers. He has an event in conjunction with Hallmark coming this weekend. Yeah. And his Romance University has uh, given a lot of money to some wonderful uh, things, mostly women's and children's mm -hmm. uh, charities. Um, you, uh, The event in Nashville, that was for Alzheimer's, correct? Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and raised $300,000. Nikki and, that's Nikki and Ashley seen. were hoping to raise $100,000 when that's... Ashley's sister passed the tour, passed the baton to, um, um, when Kimberly passed the baton to Ashley last year, she said, Hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to focus a little more on my family and whatnot. She said, uh, do you want to take this and run with it? And Ashley was like, okay, yeah, you know, big shoes to fill between, Kimberly, uh, Kimberly Paisley and Brad, you know, her right. husband right. having him behind it. Right. Um, so anyways, Ashley and Nikki, they, they tripled what they thought they were going to, what they wanted to raise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, the event looked amazing. You guys put up some really fun footage there, but really the, it's the heart and the community mm -hmm. and the connections. Um, it was just, it was really fun to watch play out on social media too. Um, when Sarah and I were both like, we have FOMO, like we yes, wish we were there. And, uh, <laughs> next year, next year, ladies. Next year, yes. we should come. Next year yeah. Yeah, we, we should loop in, uh, you know, and that's a, that's also um, a topic that's near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. I, I know um, a lot of people can really resonate with, um, with, with uh, the Alzheimer's piece and how that's impacted their families. And so just uh, a lot of people really feel connected to the, uh, that type of event and love seeing um, uh, the stars uh, advocating for such a wonderful mm -hmm. cause. So. Yeah. It's, it's um, I think it's one in three people are touched. Yep. The numbers are huge. So they're huge. Yeah. And it's, but it's, it's, it's a, it's a North American thing. You know, you don't yep. hear this in Europe. So look, there's, there's there there is a cure. I think that prevention is also a, a big piece to that, and us educating ourselves more and what eventually what can eventually you know progress into Alzheimer's. The way we eat, what things we put in our body, exercise, sleep, mm -hmm. all these things that in North America is you know we 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 lose sight of. You know, it's not we don't we don't necessarily we have poor sleeping habits and poor eating habits, and so, but. Obviously, it, it also takes, you know, let's let's come out with that that drug of whatever it is to help prevent once you get once you get it to help, um, you know, make it dormant, you know, right. or let it not progress the way it, it you know, it does. it's so multifactorial, too. So it requires so much uh, uh, look and research to. Uh, you know, it's just so many different pieces. It is actually common in Europe. It's just about as common. It's it's reported differently there. So oh, is it recorded differently? Yeah, yeah, it's reported differently. They the way they acknowledge those types of things are reported differently. So oh, okay, good to know. Uh, and the way they handle it too is is reported a little differently. Uh, oh wow, all right, good to yeah, know. So so yeah, no, so it it does come, but it's so multifactorial. The it's uh it's going to require a, a lot of different things, and, mm -hmm. and like you said, prevention is is a huge piece of that and like if it's going to take many things and so the research is so important like how do and you they just approved a drug six months ago there was yep. one that that had a, that had a, a lot of of, of great uh benefit bene or it was it had uh very good outcomes very yeah very good yeah. outcome yeah right the outcomes are, are 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 promising and uh it stabilizes a lot of people and uh, their functioning levels. So that's just huge. And we hope to see more of those types of drugs uh, roll out. There's multiple in the pe pipeline being researched right now. And that's what needs funding. That stuff costs money. Yeah. And even evaluating what like even preventative and healthcare maintenance things that requires money to, to actually follow through those numbers and see what's actually paying off. Um, and so the work you guys are doing is so important. Um, and then it connects everyone to that that need it's uh we love seeing that so it's great yeah 1.8 million dollars is what the dance to, to end alzheimer's has raised so far since it started that's crazy that, those yeah. are crazy yeah. numbers crazy yeah. numbers eh right Amazing. what a community we love yeah. that community absolutely yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so, hey, to switch a little bit gears, would you like to play a little um, Christmas unbuttoned game with us? Let's do it. All Let's right. do it. I feel like I feel like I should I should put this as my backdrop here. Oh yep. Let's, oh, let's yeah, oh yes, yes, yes. Uh because are there ever too many Christmas trees? Never. Well, Not guys, me. we're we're in an Airbnb right now. We're we're we've been in a in a in a home remodel for five months. Yes. Wow. So um just wait. When we get back into our house come early December, it's going to be like a Christmas globe exploded in there. Oh I'm gonna, gosh, I can decorate imagine. Decorate it to the nine. So this is this is what we have right now, our little modest Christmas it's tree here. It's adorable. It's, it's better I, than it does its job. I can relate. We uh had to move out for like about a month and a half in the summer for a uh, kitchen remodel. <laughs> and it was not easy. Oh, you did? Kids. Yes. And that is not five months. So um, I'm wishing you guys uh, the best that it finishes fast. Yeah, it's not. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah, it's that's hard. Uh, although that's not a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. That is a mighty fine looking little Christmas tree. I know it's pretty perfect. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. Yeah, he looks or good. She. She. she, she I, or you know. He, she or he? It's a she. It's a she. <laughs> she needs more she energy in this house. <laughs> <laughs> she's pretty. She's sparkly. We, we're going with Give it. Give her the tree. Give her the tree. Yeah. Yes. Her the tree right her name now. is Noel. <laughs> Noel. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's Noel. She's cute. She's beautiful. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, if, you, if you had to live in one holiday movie, what would it be? Oh, it's top. Christmas Island, I'd say. Christmas yeah, Island. Just, it was, nice answer. <laughs> it was beautiful. Plus, I, it was really great. Yeah. And also, I just want to go back. So, like, but I, 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 I also love my Brenner boys. I also love my my Brenner brothers. So, I, it, that's a tough one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nope. See, either way, um, I'm gonna skip one because I have to go to this one because I know you can crush this. What song would you crush in Christmas karaoke? Last Christmas. Yeah. When? Okay. Yes, absolutely. Because we I know you've it. got karaoke skills like the best. Yes. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Um, what if you had to have a Christmas theme tattoo? What would it be? <laughs> <laughs> um. What would my Christmas theme tattoo be? Um, yeah, it would be, if you don't come up with one, I'm going to pick one. <laughs> I was going to say candy canes are pretty easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe a can, maybe just a, yeah, can, candy, candy cane. Pick, pick all candy one. Candy on my chest. And it just needs to be like partially yeah, unwrapped too. <laughs> like. <laughs> partially unwrapped candy cane to a wrapper's kind of hanging down. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that, that's what it needs. What needs to be. Okay. This one feels like, <laughs> like you already have an answer for this one. If you were one of Santa's elves, what would your elf name be? My elf name would be, if I was one of Santa, Santa's elves, Lucky. Oh, lucky. Oh, I like that. Perfect. That's a great Ties one. our whole conversation together, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Good. Okay, what is um, a holiday guilty pleasure that you have? Pumpkin pie with whipped cream. Yeah. So good. Are you making your Lots own Lots of whipped cream. Lots of whipped yeah. cream, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Real, oh, yes, real whipped we'll cream. Whip cream. Not the cool whipped cream. Real, rip, we, real whipped cream. And I, I have pumpkin pie for dinner and for breakfast. That's the guilty pleasure. Pumpkin pie for breakfast is... It's a right. vegetable. Yeah. It's... <laughs> you can actually make it really healthy. So. It's, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, all, it's, all the, it's all the food groups. Especially yeah, yeah. with the whipped cream in the morning. It's got the fat, you know, from the... It's got dairy fat. It's vegetables. Yeah. You got the carbs with the with the crust. Perfect. I mean, and my wife, of course, meal. makes like a keto friendly. She makes this healthy spin on pumpkin pie, and it's actually one of the best pumpkin pies 
yeah. I've, I've ever had in my life. Yeah. You know, it would be hard because you do a substitute crust and then after that, yeah. Yeah, no, let's go. I, I, I bet she should yeah. post that recipe because I bet people would. I know she should. Yeah. yeah. Cassie yes, you should post that, that recipe because some of us might be interested. <laughs> yeah, people would totally make that. That's yeah. That sounds delicious. And I bet it that wouldn't take it wouldn't be that hard for people to get the ingredients to pull together a keto friendly pumpkin pie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. We're the opposite. We're yeah, and hers it's like full of flavor to. too. It's so yeah. it's like yeah. well, spices, plus, but not too much. You know, those warm spices are delicious anyway. So uh yeah. Yeah. The baker and the baker and me would love that recipe. So <laughs> <laughs> we right, need Julie. some choices. You're, she'll she'll post it. Yeah, she'll perfect. Thanks. It. Um love okay. It. Uh, yeah. I'll, th I'll throw out, I'll throw out one last one. What is something you are thankful for this holiday season? Oh, wait, you cut out, you cut out oh. Julie. I'll say, okay. What is something you are thankful for this holiday season? Thankful for? Mm -hmm. That's how I'm thankful. Uh, yeah. Oh man. I, well, look at my, my elf name, Lucky. I, I, yeah. That's how I feel constantly. So um, I'm, thankful, I'm thankful for my kids. I'm thankful for the health of my children. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for my family. I think that if I have, if everything else is stripped away from me, I always say, you know, Cassandra and I always talk about this. If we have nothing... We have each other and that's yeah. the most important thing. And we could live anywhere and be, be anywhere, live in anything, a tent and still be happy and have each other. And I think that that's, you know, that's what I'm, I'm thankful for is my family, my kids, my, our health. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. I that love yeah. Same. That's a beautiful answer. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's what a lot of people think you can have everything but it might mean nothing. So, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. And things can change so fast. You know, you just, right. you gotta, you have to be aware when, when things are good, you, you pay, you pay attention to that and, okay. and let it sit in that and let it, re you know, let it really resonate because life, you know, you never know what, what, what can happen around the corner. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, no, I think that's an answer so many can relate to. I mean, recently, everybody, the whole world went through the pandemic. And really, I think some of those thoughts really started started resonating with people. Like, you didn't go anywhere. Many people didn't have a job, weren't working. Like, what was yeah. important, right? Like, I think that's a... Priorities. That's a great, right. Shifted, yeah. Priorities, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love it. Well... We can't get any better than that last answer. So right. I think we use that as our ending. Um, hang on for a second. We'll shut the recording off and say thank you to everybody. Um, so thank you, everybody, for watching. And Andrew, again, thank you for you know being with us. We love talking with you. Thank you, too. Thank you so much, guys. Always, it's always a pleasure. Appreciate it. Appreciate you taking the time to, to, to talk to me. Absolutely. Always. Go ahead, Julie. All right. Thanks, everyone. Uh, and... Goodbye.